Pittsburgh Steelers at home for Sunday Night Football after picking up a win. Get this, thanks to their offense. Harris sidesteps, gets to the sideline. Najee Harris dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Steelers. What a highlight. Even with that big showing, big changes ahead of this game. They welcome the New York Jets, who have a little pep to their step heading into the matchup for a variety of reasons as well. He's just going to heave the ball towards the end zone. Gets a Hail Mary into the end zone. It's oh. tapped around. Alan Lazard. The ball bounces out. He thought he had it for a touchdown. Did he have it? It's a touchdown! Oh. Aaron Rodgers' latest prayer was a buy one, get one free, I guess. Reunited and it feels so good. Played across the Big Apple this week. Devontae Adams is in town. Gang Green going all in on 2024. A massive, massive trade. The biggest trade we have seen in the regular season in a very long time. Steelers didn't make any splash trades, but they have decided to trade their starting quarterback for their bench quarterback. Russell Wilson, time to make your debut in black and gold. Man, this is a competitive league, man. Um, we're trying to position ourselves to be that team. And uh, we got a player with talent uh, who hadn't had an opportunity to play, so we're going to potentially explore those things. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with what Justin has done or has not done. Mike Tomlin pulling the trigger after another meh passing outing from Justin Fields, just 145 yards last week. Their passing attack 28th in yards per game this season, which has played a big role in Pittsburgh sitting at 20th in points per game. Uncorks it, too high. The timing on that play just seemed off from the start. Totally. There was a moment where it looked like Fields didn't know if the play was live. Jets also hope their big move sparks something. They're 22nd in points per game, averaging less than 19 per. Rodgers buys time, airs it out. Mike Williams fell down, and it is picked by Tyron Johnson. That pick ended things for Rodgers and the Jets last week, but he comes in off a resurgent outing too. On top of the hail to the Mary, some nice dots versus the Bills. Much more explosive, almost 300 yards, over eight yards per attempt, two TDs. Rodgers slides through, throws, caught, but out of bounds by Wilson. Garrett thought he was in. That's a touchdown in my book. And this is gonna be ruled a touchdown. How hurried will Rodgers be versus TJ Watt and company? He did get blown up three times. Should have been four. More on that later. Here's a little toss back. Rodgers in trouble and down he goes. Don't mistake the sacks taken in this case for bad pass protection. He only faced pressure 15% of the time. No QB faced less pressure week six. Pittsburgh's Watt-led pass rush only sacked Aiden O'Connell once on 40 pass attempts. Kind of weird. Below average pressure rate too. Didn't hurt them though. Jets offense stacked against the number two team in points per game allowed. Oh, he lost it! The Steelers have it! Abdullah coughs it up right at the goal line! Pittsburgh secondary held Aiden O'Connell to a sub-80 rate, only one touchdown, picked him off. They're holding quarterbacks to a low 80s rating for the season, seven INTs. Delivers it downfield. And he delivers it to the other team. Dante Jackson with the pick. Steelers secondary has held wide receivers specifically to a low 80s rate. They'll be tested by Adams, of course, and Garrett Wilson. Hopefully he's not the jealous type. He's gotten used to being Rodgers' fave. Eight catches over 100 yards versus the Bills. Back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Second level, there he is, Garrett Wilson. He's over 100 yards on the night. Alan Lazard, now the three. The Hail Mary helped him finish with a C-note plus. Here's Lazard. First down, Jets. Running back Brees Hall, the third most consistent Rodgers target up to this point. He comes in off a great excursion, 56 air yards. Big play into Buffalo territory to the 45, a gain of 21. Plus 113 yards on the ground, 6.3 a run. Broke a tackle. Brees Hall tripped up inside the 10. Steelers will be tough to keep it going against. They've held running backs to 3.5 a carry this year, fourth lowest. TJ Watt engulfs Madison. A loss of two on the play. Pittsburgh fans used to their defense holding things down. They are not used to 32 points from their offense, which they got last week. Not their MO, only 20 points per game after that outburst. Fields does it himself. Touchdown, Steelers. The outburst came thanks to its rush attack. Najee Harris walks in off his best 2024 excursion, 106 yards and a TD. The most important stat with Najee, though, yards per carry. Deb, you're going to want to sit down for this. 7.6. Harris handles the first contact, and Harris isn't going down. 
Jets' most recent outing versus the run wasn't great. They did not handle Buffalo's running backs well, and both were backups. 8.5 a carry to Ty Johnson, four tries, 97 yards on 4.9 a run to Ray Davis. Just running it right down their throat. Davis to the one. The Jets' secondary rust faces gave up 215 yards to Allen, two touchdowns, no interceptions, 8.6 yards per attempt, a rating over 125. Allen lets it fly, connects with Samuel. Now, that was Josh Allen, New York's held quarterbacks to a low 80s rate in 2024. All their numbers against the pass, top shelf for the year. New York did see cornerback DJ Reed leave hurt, safety Chuck Clark too, so have to track that. Steelers' top pass catcher, George Pickens, on the season, 60 yards per game. Deep shot, down for it is Pickens. Wilson takes on a tough Jets pass rush, third in the league with 20 bags, sacked Allen twice, healthy pressure rate for 2024. Allen brought down. That's going to go down as a sack. So this is a rare event. Jets play in Pittsburgh back-to-back -back weeks. Weren't there terrible towels everywhere in their week six game? Like really, really terrible, terrible towels? Maybe I'm wrong. I was about to play sarcastic ball if we're going to call those things. Okay, Aaron, and while we're at it, we'll have a balloon instead of a ball, and whoever catches it tries to run with the balloon while the rest of the players hug. Huh, and you think the players would like that? Jets Steelers, 20 to seven in favor of the black and gold. One of the classics, 2004 divisional meeting. Big Ben hits Heinz Ward in the fourth quarter to tie the game at 17. He gets picked off late though, setting New York up for the win. Doug Bryan missed a 43 yarder at the buzzer. Jeff Reed in OT, 33 yards out, he didn't miss. Jeff Reed to try the biggest field goal of his life. Because if he makes it, the Steelers advance. It's routine right here, baby, come on. Get this out of here. The snap is down, the kick is on its way by Reed, that kick is out.